We are in Vermont today at the beautiful Green Mountain National Forest. It's fall in Vermont's Green Mountain National Forest. A dream trip exploring autumn colors, great trails, good food, rural towns, scenic waterfalls, and sunset overlooks. We'll end the video making some apple cider with friends and begin where I stayed, a quaint log cabin hidden in the Vermont mountains. Thanks for joining me. You selling apples today? Oh yeah. first trail today is the new Boston Trail. We're here in the Green Mountains and uh, took a very remote road to get out here and it's gone from gravel to dirt from bad to worse so uh, I think we're about a mile and a half from the trailhead but we're gonna keep pressing on hope I don't get stuck out here. So here's the trailhead parking. They got a whole bunch of Jeeps and trucks and then we have Randy's family minivan <laughs> parked right there. They've made it up the hill. All right, so here we go. The new Boston Trail. It'll take us to the Long Trail. We're going to take this logging road up the mountain. And then at about uh, three quarters of a mile, it's going to fork off to the left to our destination. So it is a crisp fall morning. First day of October 2022. And as you can see in the winter, this becomes a snowmobile route. Be here at my shoulder. Be here in my side. Be here when the cold night falls. And in the morning light. So right here is where we're going to cut off. This is the new Boston Trail. It's gonna go up about two tenths of a mile to the David Logan Shelter. That's our goal. Uh, the entire trail is rather steep. It's only about a mile long each way, but it covers uh, about 600 feet elevation gain. So you gotta work a little bit on it. It's a nice warm up. Let's go check out the shelter. Be here in the autumn when all the colors call. Be the burning mist. See if you, you double up, there's enough to sleep. Nine people in this shelter. You even have a nice outhouse with some pit toilets about 50 yards away. Plenty of water to filter and a fire pit in a really remote area. This is cool. So we are at the Mountaintop Inn and Resort and I was told this is the place to get some lunch. We actually go right past it on the way to our next trailhead. And wow, this is fancy. This is beautiful. Hey, uh, appreciate the ride. Thanks so much. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. We are down at the lake right now. Got a ride down from one of the workers at the lodge. And uh, wow, this is pretty. We've had a We've had down, we've had warm nights, we've gone round and round. Would I know this much is true? There ain't a color in the rainbow that shines like you. Is you okay? Give me a lift back. Yes, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime. Beautiful up here, isn't it? Yeah. The, wow. You really get the good canopy kind of going through these dirt roads. Mm. Some of the back roads around here are awesome just for this purpose. You got to be careful going out in the woods though right now because it's uh, first, day, first day of bow season. Oh, you might, really? Might want to put some orange on. No <laughs> kidding. Well, I appreciate the warning there. Yeah. We are there, man. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you, sir, for the ride. What's your name? Joseph Casey. Joseph Casey. I'm Randy. It was a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. you. Thank you so much. And uh, have a good time. Any recommendations on. on the menu? 
Uh, burger. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a burger. Can't go wrong with a burger, huh? All right, man. Hey, take care. We'll you see too. you. All right, check this puppy out, man. We got blue cheese and mushroom burger <laughs> with some sweet potato fries. Ah, some vegetables to put on top. Looking good. You selling apples today? Oh yeah. yeah. We've got I've got uh, honey crisp, Macintosh, and Cortland. All right, and then you got some uh, maple syrup for us as well? Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. We're gonna give you some business. How's that sound? Best there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? I'll Best. be the judge of that one. Yeah. Look at that. Now do you harvest this uh, maple well, yourself? Oh yes. Oh yes. You have a, a, a farm or? Uh, uh, yeah, we're about 14 miles up on 100 in the town of Hancock. Wow, and this is all freshly? Yeah, oh yeah. Produced? Yeah. 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 Wow, so what do you recommend? You got light, medium, and dark, right you said? Me, I like, I like the medium, but. All right, why don't you set us up with a small medium? How's that sound? We can do that. All right, now what about these? These are just fancy uh, like collector bottles here, it looks like. Yeah, these are, these are just, uh, a little bit different maple leaf over here. Yeah. And then we have the new one is the big heart. Okay. A little cabins and a log cabins. Same same syrup, just different bottles. Yeah, yeah, just different bottles. He was in, I think he found he was over here and he didn't find what he wanted. Maybe he <laughs> found a little bit had something left stayed on the bottle and they didn't get it. I was gonna say I think he's looking for a bottle with the top off of it. Yeah, I think he's looking for a little treat. <laughs> you gonna help him out? No. I mean, you, <laughs> you're gonna make them work for it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Because if you don't, if you help them out, they get lazy. Macintosh and Cortland. Cortland. That's a little tart. That's a nice fall apple, a little tart. Okay. Excellent baking. Are these from your own uh, orchard? No, we. I get these from Happy Valley out of Middlebury. So we are presently making our way to the Moss Glen Falls right now. So Warren Falls is one of the most stunning and uh, most popular spots here on the Mad River. It's got high granite cliffs and the sounds of fast moving water that draw people here all the time to watch the rivers that passes by. This is a pretty one, let's check it out. Maybe I'm missing it, but with all these tall cliffs around the falls, it's hard to get a decent view of the whole thing all put together. So I'll just show you pieces of it and then you can put it together in your own mind. Also, you notice there's some deep pockets here. I understand they're really good for swimming when the water's a little bit on the warmer side. So I get up the main trail, I take a little spur trail down to the river out there pretty much all by myself. There's one other Asian couple there and they see me and they say, hey, you're Steve. I'm like, no, I'm Randy. They're like, well, you're the guy from America's Parks, aren't you? You're from Pennsylvania. I said, no, I'm from New Jersey. But either way, what a special privilege that was to hear those people watch the channel. If you're watching this, the two of you, pleasure talking with you. So nice to see you enjoying our public lands. So a nice area just outside of Warren, Vermont, and right off the highway. I want to wander out of the valley Where the river takes us far away from home Time to ponder in the fields around me Where there's nothing but the breeze in the gray unknown Leave the worries 
This will be our final hike for the day. We're just outside of Warren, Vermont. We're on the Long Trail. We're going south on the Long Trail, and our destination is Sunset Ledge. And by the name of it, you can tell why we're ending with this one. So it's about 368 feet elevation change. Uh, depending on what you read or what sign you look at, it's anywhere from one and a half to two miles out and back. And this is officially wilderness area. This is the Breadloaf Wilderness Area, so uh, no drones allowed at this part of the National Forest. So as you can see, it is rather steep and uh, not the, the friendliest trail to hike on either. Don't wait for me, honey. Don't What's the trick to cutting these apples? Don't cut your fingers. Don't cut your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, no right. idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think I'm a ninja like you, buddy? John, you got one of the most challenging jobs, don't tough. you? This is tough. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you jammed it. Sorry, folks. No cider today. He called him tomatoes. And <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys go. Wow. Here's the homeowner right here. So how much cider are we going to be making? Oh, I'm hoping we'll get about four to five gallons out of this. These wow, presses. no kidding. Yep, out of all the three boxes. So it's uh, it's chop the apple, step one, throw them in the grinder. I'm going to drop the phone right here. <laughs> all right, then we produce that. And then where's it go up there? We'll run it back through again. Oh, okay. Run it back through, and then we'll we'll give it one final mashing. So that's a third, a third with, crush with, then. That's a four by four. Okay. And then it goes into the press. And then the press does what? You guys, it's not clean. Bro. We'll pile it up in here and then we'll stack these. <laughs> stack these pieces on top. And then we, we wind it down to press. Oh, and that'll and squeeze out the juice. Squeezes the juice out into the. The and then any uh, any hard substance still left, or is it all crushed to juice? All pretty much crushed. Well, you'll have a little bit of. A little bit of the pump, it's called pumice. Okay. What's left over. From and is the that press. used for anything? I feed the chickens and the deer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. How long does the whole process take then? From cut to press, 15 minutes, no 20 kidding. minutes. And you're, you're drinking it right away. You don't have to oh, let it yeah. sit. No. Nope. Rest. That's what's over in the ferment. <laughs> well. Anything that's left over will This is a family channel, a though, right? Yes, it is a family <laughs> channel. <laughs> Look at these guys go, man. I'm going to switch this one out. You guys got a pro there. You got an official yeah. butcher working on this. Steve's a butcher. Look at him go. <laughs> with a broken finger. Don't try to keep up with the butcher, Jason. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't try to keep up with the butcher. Don't hurt yourself, Jason. Usually over here, keep up with the Oh, he even did a little knife snap there. Did you see that? Who's that, Steve did? 40, yeah. yeah. 40 knife snap. 40 knife snap. These guys, man. And let's talk about this for a moment, Clay. What do we got going here? Yeah, Somebody like, tells me that's not a standard issue manufacturer. That, that is not standard issue. That's, that's, that's what you call an upgrade from the, from the hand thing. That's the guy that the guys used to drink. It's also known as a redneck grinder. Apple grinder. Wow. How big is this?
Now, now the magic a, happens. This is depressing. Need, now we need a young man that's just past your left shoulder there to come over and wind this thing up is for us. Oh, oh yeah, inside? good choice. Yeah, just inside. A little bit. Good choice. Go ahead and pull that thing towards me and keep walking around the circle. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at that juice. Oh, yeah. I got it. Whoa, look at that juice coming out of there. He's a beast. I assume you guys clean off this metal every year before you're doing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The rain. The rain. Oh, cleans it off. salmonella from years past. <laughs> the rain cleans Two main points. Poisoning. Here we go. It's right there. The first cup. Say? Wait, isn't this the guy that you like the cup bearer? So you make sure that it's yep. kosher. So yeah. Yeah. good luck. If anybody drops dead. Yeah, good luck. Before the king gets it, the cup bearer has to go first. You're a true leader, Randy. Wow, he's pretty, he's pretty slick. <laughs> everybody he figured that out pretty quick, didn't he? <laughs> I gotta <laughs> preach tomorrow morning, guys. He's gonna fill it for me at this time. If it's this not last gonna, minute. If it's not gonna take anyone out, it's not gonna take you out. It's fine. That's good. Wow. That's all natural. all natural. No sugar. You saw it happen. No artificial preservatives. That is natural size. That's delicious. You watched it come out. Wow. Now, how many apples did it take to make this cup? 16. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like more than three, you think? Yeah, probably, probably three, three yeah. maybe four. And maybe that six. whole box that you guys cut up, that'll produce how much juice in there? We were, getting, we were getting about two to two and a half gallons out of, out of one, one box. Out of one box. And there's probably about a gallon in there already, would you pretty, say? I would say pretty close. And you still have some more juice that'll come out, right? And I have that. Oh, you got another yeah. whole bucket still. Another bucket. Yeah, we're cranking stuff. I've been finding I've been finding doing two smaller presses is actually a little bit better. I got That's it. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I saved the soup for you. Ah, oh, perfect. There you go. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tasted better apple oh, cider? that's fresh. That's yeah, that's fresh. <laughs> that's <good. laughs> All right, so you guys are taking off the outer casing right now, right? Yep, yep. The and outer, the outer basket, and it leaves you. The with... remnants, what's that stuff called again? I call it an apple cake. <laughs> Did you invent but that name is, yourself? This is actually, it's it, the correct word for it is an apple hummus. Can you eat this? Oh, oh yeah. It's yeah, go for it. It's apple. Stack this it tastes like it still has a lot of juice in it. Some of them do, yeah. If it didn't get a good squeeze, they'll still have some juice. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Green Mountains in Vermont. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And remember, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. God bless you.